Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Normally, I don't do intros, but I do want to say a very big thank you for those of you guys that came to check out the Twisted League videos that I've been doing. Uh, it's been blowing up quite a lot, like for real, for real. So yeah, man. Um, welcome to the new people that came to the channel for the first time, and of course, welcome back to the OGs. All right, enjoy today's video, though. Oh, Dragon Arrow Chips? Sick. Oh my god, I just got the Dust Mystic Bottoms, bro. God damn it, man. I need the Dust Mystic Top, boys, honestly. Oh, man. I got the gloves and, and the bottoms, but I already have the Ancestral Bottoms, so... Kill it! Oh my god, that was so close. Holy shit! I just f***ing made it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the heck out of here, soldier. Oh, purple! Woo! Yo, baby! Let's go. First purple, boys, since the regen brace. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> Damn, so that means we have five purples now in like 90, 80, 80 something raids. Oh boy, wonder what we're gonna get, man. Here we go. Oh my god, no! A deck scroll! I would have loved an augury though. Oh, that would have been nice. Please! Oh my god, another super close call. Look at this shit! The soldiers spawn again. Wow. Oh shit! We got another 99. Hell yeah. Sick. So this 99 is a pretty big deal because it allows me to increase my Slayer Darts max hit by 1. Every 10 levels of my magic will increase my Slayer Dart by an extra damage. So yeah, I get 120 with overloads, which brings the base damage of the Slayer Dart all the way to a 22. And I have Corner's Blessing, right? So that's 10% extra damage. That means 24 is my new max hit. Oh, that's a 24. That's gonna be a 24. Yes, a 24. We got it on the video. Hell yeah. 80 woodcutting, all right. Lots of good AFK skills out there that I can get easy points for getting like base 80s or 99s, such as woodcutting, fishing, and stuff like that. So yeah, if I don't feel like playing the game and I just want to chill, I'm just going to hit up one of these activities. Best time to do it. So with my new setup with the regen bracelet, you see that I have a cake in my inventory. You might have noticed it and you're wondering, what is that for? How does one use such a low level food and benefit with it in raids? So the cake is really useful because it has three bites in one space of inventory. So I use that at the agility room and I use it at Vespila, primarily at agility room because I can use it to take it the rangers. They hit like 20s often, but I can pretty much like almost negate most of the damage by simply surviving it through take eating. And another way I use it at is at Vespula. Sometimes my prayer runs out before the redemption hits and then I end up having like 5 HP. I can't redemption 5 HP because she can kill me at such a low HP. So I can eat a cake and get back to like 9 HP. That's like the minimum HP that I need to survive a sting for the redemption. So it helps me with that as well. Yeah, there's a good chance I could sub 30 in uh, in this raid. I killed the uh, Tecton really fast and I killed Fisbila stupid fast. Let's try it. Oh, look at that PB boys. That was a That was a really really nice PB boys 28 minutes. I was thinking about prepping too, but uh, This was actually a challenge to complete a uh, solo raid in under 30 minutes. So our first sub 30 Not to mention it was a self scout. So it was really clean. I'll take that very nice 500 points though, dude What the hell? Nani? Damn, dude, that ohm was so freaking fast, bro. That ohm literally was a little bit over 15 minutes. That's actually insane. I think I usually take like 17 minutes to do it. Oh, I just hit 85 farming. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's uh, the final area of the farming guild I can access. Yes, 90 slayer. Hell yeah. Hey, now I can kill dark beasts in the catacombs. Oh, wait, they got rid of that a long time ago. It feels bad, man. So I'm trying out this raid here, 
and uh, I'm gonna see if I can get to a point where I only have to prep at the end but this raid is super nasty not a single room draws food a jitter room skeleton room tecton and then there is a mutadile right after this as well so I'm gonna put the uh, regen brace to the ultimate test see if it can carry me all the way to the very end the ultimate test three anglers one cake and regen bracelet on that heavy duty HP restoration for this Minadal room. I survived this, and this raid's worth doing. Holy shit, boys, we did it. The regen brace is the real deal. It is the true carry, boys. God damn, we did it. Woo! Flame wall, I had a feeling. Oh yes, I haven't gone rune arrows in a while, but we just got our first 2,000 rune arrows in a while, and now I'm back up to 6k. So I think it's fair to say that I should be able to sustain my rune arrows forever. No, what the hell? They're so far away. Oh, I just made it. Oh my god, I actually freaking made that. Man, this head phase was so hard, dude. What the hell? Oh, purple! Let's freaking go, man. Holy shit. We actually got the purple. Haha. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Yo, the tins bow work. Yo, let's go. <laughs> A unique item, boys. We're 5 out of 12, bro. So the Din's Bulwark is actually pretty useful in the future, it's not actually a super troll item. I can use it to help me speedrun raids later in the future, which I'll explain more when I get around to that. But for now, I'm just going to use it for some uh, other things that raids just for fun for a day or two, and show you guys some other theoretical uses. A little disclaimer, what I'm about to show you isn't stuff that I recommend people do, this is just more so for fun, like theoretically if you were forced to bring a Din's Bulwark, this is some of the uses. So the first one I can think of is uh, lowering the skeletal mages a little bit easier because I can go on block which has a special ability to reduce 30% of income damage. So yeah, I can take my time and lower all the skeletal mages into a nice line and I will take very little damage in doing so. So I can shield flick I guess with it. Another room that I could use the dins at is the Jitter Room, mainly for the Rangers I can uh, just Shield Flick in between their attacks, so that way I get like the extra 100 plus range defense every time they hit me and it'll yeah, have to calculate through the Dins Bulwark's sturdy ass defense, so it helps me uh, save some light points. I'm pretty sure if I go in my house it resets the poison. Let me leave my house, ah it still works, feels good man. First hard clue. Yo, where's the god hides? Oh, I completed the 50 hard clues though, cool. I just hit 99 attack, let's freaking go. All right, pretty much almost max combat now. So all that's left is uh, defense. Yeah, not counting prayer, so that's uh, pretty sick. Oh shit, I also gained 25 million Hit point experience, nice. I'm at 12,000 league points, dude. And league points, whoa, that's sick, boys. That's sick, I'm actually rank 799 right now. Yo, I'm currently in the dragon rank right now, dude. That's that's actually sick. I guess if I just keep playing as normal, I'll, I'll probably uh, naturally just stay within the dragon rank. 799 is actually... Uh, yeah, quite, quite within, yeah. Oh my god, that is scary, dude. A91 Slayer, hell yeah, man. Four more loves to go. Oh, there it is. The 100 Cox KC. Hell yeah, we got some points for that as well. So I think I'm gonna try to keep myself within Dragon rank, so... I think 99 farming should be pretty easy to get, cause yeah, contracts are OP and these trees and fruit trees are gonna give me so much XP for very little time investment. I might as well just get it, you know? Oh my god, you trees give freaking 35,000 experience. And that's on 5x. Wow. 
Can't wait to try out these Celestros and Dragon Fruits. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, after a little bit of contemplating, I have decided I'm gonna go ahead and finish the current diary. But yeah, if I can get the hard one done, uh, some good perks is the teleport to Konar. That's gonna be really nice for me. Uh, having to just run to her from Battlefront is getting kind of annoying. Alright, 53 Hunter. Now I can do that one task for uh, the med diaries, I think. Yeah, 70,000 experience for that Celestrous tree. Come here, you. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna mix things up. Wasn't part of the original plan, but... Let's go ahead and do some Drakes. Because there's a chance I might get myself Brimstone Boot. They have some decent stats for magic and range, so I can use that as a... Improvement, you know, to my mage setup, if I get it, so. It's the only place. Oh, what the fuck? I got the Drake's Claw. That was easy. And I'm pretty damn sure that uh, that means we get the Brimstone Boots. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to make the Brimstone Boots. Yes, of course. We've done this before, so I know what's up with it. Alright, here are the stats. Oh, I got some points for that as well. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. We got three magic, five range. No negative stats is what makes it extra good. The no negative stats. Defense is decent. I'm thinking about switching Dehide Boots over to the Boots of Brimstone just because it has no negative stats and it helps me with magic as well. It's only slightly worse in range, so it'll be a better hybrid boot than the Serdi. And plus, I don't have to take off the boots uh, when I you have to do switches at Ulm and stuff, so that's really nice. Oh, there it is, 70 smithing. I think that's all the skilling stuff done. Nice. I have three more magic accuracy now, so that should put my mage accuracy to like... Uh, 74, I think. I can check real quick. 74. Nice. I'll take it. There you go, all the hearts done, finally. Yes, lady, give me the teleport. Let me see the icon. 3, teleport to Mount Karum. Hell yeah, dude. Alright, time to put all this into herb for a long, long grind of 90 herb in the future. Oh, that was nice, man. That was a fast head face. Oh, purple! Holy shit! Alright, here we go. Oh, <laughs> the freaking placeholders are so real, dude. I used to not get these, by the way. I used to not get these. They, they used to take a very long time to get, alright? Oh, I'm really digging these uh, Boots of Brimstone at Vanguard's. So nice and convenient. I don't have to switch out of my boots and take off like my room boots. So boys and girls, just a heads up. In one of the videos coming up, I will be having a sponsor in there. Just part of, you know, the YouTube life. Gotta make the money and whatnot. So hope you are okay with that. Advance warning. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as usual. I hope to see you guys soon with another video. Uh, in a few days and yeah, if you haven't subscribed already make sure you do and ring that bell so that way you don't miss it All right, it's gonna be a good one. 